All right, everyone, it is Friday, September 13th, 2013. Could this be an unlucky day for the United States of America? September 11th has come and passed without incident. I'm going to put the link to this article I'm about to present to you below in the description box, the show more section. Are you ready for this? I'm an al-Zawari. Al-Qaeda leader calls for attacks inside the United States for 9-11 anniversary. Okay, this is breaking news. It's just coming out. Cairo, Al-Qaeda's leader on Friday, marked the anniversary of September 11th, 2001, attacks by calling on all Muslims to strike inside the United States with big attacks or small, using any opportunity they can to bleed America financially. Is this a false flag? Is this a setup? We need to be informed, and I need you to listen to me. We need to be prepared. In an audio message released two days after the 12th anniversary of the attacks, Ayman al-Zawari said, America is not a mythic power, and that the Mahajin Islamic holy warriors can defeat it with attacks on its own soil. Are we going to be looking at uh, random attacks on American soil in our neighborhoods, in our towns, in our shopping malls? And is it uh, Obama, CIA backed uh, and funded uh, Al Qaeda? Let me continue on with the story. Al Zawari, the successor to Osama bin Laden, used the anniversary anniversary rather to argue that the United States can be defeated by targeting its economy. At the same time, he also addressed the ongoing upheaval in the Arab world, pointing to a power struggle going on within the rebellion against Syria's regime. He warned jihad fighters in that country's civil war uh, not compromise with more secular or moderate rebel factions who he said would eventually turn against the al-Qaeda linked radicals. The message uh, message's authenticity could not be uh, independently confirmed. It was posted on a militant website commonly used by al-Qaeda. Now, who funds Al-Qaeda? Al-Zawari, who is believed to be hiding in the Pakistan-Afghanistan border region, said Al-Qaeda's uh, sympathizers should stage small attacks or a big strike against the United States, similar to the September 11 attacks in New York and Washington, leaving America in a state of tension about when and where the next hit would come. I think the people of the United States of America are ready for anything and they are now about to stand up and stand strong. Look what happened on the anniversary of 9-11, September 11, 2001. Twelve years later, one year after the anniversary of the atrocity at Benghazi, there was going to be a million Muslim march. It dwindled down to only a, a hundred or so Muslims, but two million patriots got on their steel horses and they rode to show liberty. And we're as mad as hell. And we, the people of the United States of America, are not going to take this anymore. I'll put the link to the entire article below. It's quite long and quite informative. Um, they want to bleed America dry. Is this a staged uh, event? Is the Obama administration just like 9-11? Is this going to be an inside job? Will it happen? Beware. Be awake. Wake up, people. All glory to God. Leave me comments.